everyone, welcome to Watch Us Play. I'm American Horse alongside Joey Davidson here. And we have God of War Origins collection loaded up, specifically the second half of that collection, mm -hmm. Ghost of Sparta. Ghost of Sparta was a fantastic game, I actually reviewed it for Crave a while back. Yes, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, the God of War Origins collection is coming out in uh, September, I believe. It collects um, HD remasters of the two PSP games. Um, in the God of War series. So Chains of Olympus, which is the first one, uh, which is a prequel to the original God of War. And then this one that we're playing here, which is Ghost of Sparta, which takes place after the first God of War, right before the second. Um, you might be curious why we're <laughs> wearing... What armor are we rocking right now? The, the Legionnaire. Legionnaire, yeah. It was yeah. that you unlocked. Yeah, so uh, when you beat the game, you unlock a bunch of different uh, armor types. So we started at like kind of like a new game plus almost, where we get to keep all of our moves and magic and uh, unlock these armors. So we're rocking the Legionnaire with the sweet mohawk helmet yeah. thing going on it's and like, blood everywhere. Oh no! <laughs> and then this is pretty much the beginning of um, Ghost of Sparta. You basically are on a quest because you had some you know vision come to you while you were vision sitting. Vision quest. On, oh, oh, nice. <laughs> um, while you were sitting on your God of War throne that hints to, um, you know, maybe your brother still being alive, Demos. Is so he? I don't know. I don't know either. Well, I do know. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. So, basically, Kratos gets really pissed about it. Um, his nightmare or vision. Kratos pissed? No. Yeah. And he is... He basically drags a bunch of um, his followers who worship him to their death, basically, on... The sea, uh, Atlantis, that's where we're at, right? It tells us. I think so. Yeah. So we're, we're rolling into Atlantis, Poseidon's. Or, yeah, Atlantis, Poseidon's kingdom, and killing all of his little monster cronies, I guess. That's what you're doing. Yeah, I'm. Well, right now I'm stabbing this tentacle thing straight in the mouth. <laughs> it happened, it was alright. Oh, oh. Where, where's my Legionnaire armor? Yeah, now pre rendered cutscenes, my man. So that, that's one thing, like, the game looks really, really good for a PSP game that basically had an HD kind of touch-up. Right. Um, the cutscenes themselves, I don't know if you can actually notice in the, the video you're watching. Oh, and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw that right back on. Um, the cutscenes are all pre-rendered, so they didn't touch those up in HD, so they kind of, like, contrast each other, like, when you uh, when you see them actually playing the game. It looks much crisper and clearer in the actual game than... Oh, nice block there. Now get in there. Get that guy's face. God, his tentacles. Um, but overall, like the for being PSP games originally, like I was actually pretty damn impressed how good these games look. They actually oh they they really especially this one, Ghost of Sparta, Sparta, Sparta. 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 Um, <laughs> this HD version of it looks better than the HD versions of both God of War One and God of War Two, which came out as the well, God of I mean, War the, Collection right. in two, late 2009, I the, believe. The PSP is a, I mean. Not to, you know, say that it's a fantastic looking place, but it, it does look good. You know, yeah. It's a great looking system, and, like, that was one of its, its big perks, so I'm sure that Ready of Dawn had to perform minor touch-ups in order to make this a gorgeous kind of credit. Yeah. I mean, it, it seems, I don't know the amount of power PSP can handle, but this game had to been pushing the limits of that handheld. Um, you know what, I remember when the first God of War Chains of Olympus came out on the PSP. Um, God, tips. <laughs> Rapidly press it. Oh, I've never played a God of War game before. What do I do with this? <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm sh when, I remember when the first God of War Ghost of Sparta came out, or Chains of Olympus, I'm sorry, um, there was a, an upgrade that released for the PSP that like made better use of the processor. Really? And that made the game gorgeous, like, overnight. Wow. So, uh, the fact that that happened, I mean, I remember specifically when that he's still really Yeah, he's fine, man. Look at those boosts. I got tits, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's like the straight-up expansion back from N64 days. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. I mean, <laughs> which, you know, none of us knew what that fucking thing did. Let's be serious. Yeah, hey, really, what did they just... Know, was it just a marketing thing? Draw distance or something? Yeah, but probably. They, they forced it upon games? Yeah, well, whatever it was in the case of uh, this game specifically, well, both the, the PSP games that are now in HD here, they both look really, really damn good. They do. Um, it's actually kind of funny that you mentioned before um, 
like all the button prompts. When you play both of these games back to back, you have to go through the same tutorial system through both games um, right. back to back. So those little, you know, heads up like, hey, just in case you've never played one of these games before, they get really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I'm gonna save. No, I don't want to. Patrick, what? What are you doing? No, don't say. Uh. I said cancel. Right? Huh? No, you gotta climb up, man. You gotta That's start right. climbing. That's right, you're right. When you're right. When you're right, you're right. You're right. Legionnaire Kratos. Look at him. He's walking right around here. So, I mean, if you've never played a God of War game, you maybe you missed out on a PSP. Uh, honestly, these two titles are fantastic. Like, yes. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're, they're great, gorgeous little games, good storylines. I personally think that Ghost of Sparta has one of the better God of War storylines. Yeah, it absolutely It's not does. just Kratos angry. Kratos no, that, and like, that's... Um, the Chains of Olympus, without spoiling anything, like, near the end goes into some, some like, territory about Kratos' backstory, and specifically, like, the thing uh, yeah, with his daughter and, and whatnot, which isn't spoiling anything, because no. that's from the first God of War, but, um, Ghost of Spar Sparta definitely has the overall better story. I would even say it's, it's only behind, uh, God of War 3 and the first God of War, as far as, like, quality. I would agree. I, I, I'd rate Ghost of Sparta at number three, um... Chains of Olympus, I'd say, is the weakest of the God of War um, games, only because it's really short. Um, it's only like three and a half hours or something like that, so it flies by pretty quickly. Right, it does. Um, I, I, this game isn't exactly lengthy either. No, but this one actually... What is Ooh, that? it's a hairy minotaur! Oh, so angry! Uh, you're right, this one isn't that long either. It's probably a little bit longer than that. But it's paced really well. Like, by the time you reach the end, like, you're not upset or feel gypped or anything like that. No. And I'd even say, like, overall, this this collection, I don't want to make it seem like it's not worth it because the games are short. The, combined, you got... What the whoa, fuck? You got basically a 10, 10 plus hour, like, game package here right, for how $40. Much, and, yeah, okay, so there you go. I mean, it's it's typically uh, PlayStation's been showing off that their uh, combined console packs, or whatever. They're, excuse me, I'm the guy cutting things. I can't really speak right now. <laughs> Murr, I'm gonna rip your face in twain! Oh, God. Anyway, um, <laughs> they are typically priced at that $40 mark, and, and honestly, it's it's a great value for a collection. And I know that I just borrowed uh, Sly Cooper from Eric literally yep. today, so yep. that's what I'm gonna do when I get home, but like I said, if you have never had a PSP, maybe you avoided that purchase, or you're looking to dive in and get more God of War goodness, honestly, these games are fucking great. Yeah, um, I haven't actually played a God of War game since um, God of War 3, in like early 2010. I still have yet to play, by yeah. the way. Oh, God, you're such a mooch. <laughs> Give me it, let um, me your comics. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like, I picked up these this game here and basically immediately felt at home. It feels just like normal God of War games. Um, like all the controls, like being able to dodge, you know, with the right stick. It's all there. It feels just like normal God of War games. Um, so it was like slipping into a nice pair of slippers. Yeah. <laughs> Wall climb. Yeah. Press X to continue. <laughs> Legionnaire, uh, Legionnaire. And if you're wondering why we're turning these pe these monsters into meat so quickly, it's because we're powered up. Like you, you have not really had no, any no, problem no. tearing through anything. I remember that stood fighting the Minotaur the first time. It yeah, took it, a while. it took a while. This time you're just like, yep, stab. Yeah, <laughs> no, so. I'm stab you through the face. Great. Yeah, the God of War uh, collection for the PlayStation Three is out now, is it not? No, it's not. Oh, you okay. completely lied there. When's it out? Uh, mid September. Oh. oh, yeah. Elbows. <laughs> no, it's, it's mid September, I believe. Might be September thirteenth. Um, this when it comes out. And if you are a God of War fan and a PS3 owner, especially someone that never played the God of War uh, PSP titles on the actual PSP, then this this collection is pretty damn fa fantastic. Yep. So we'll leave it there. Um, this has been Watch Us Play, God of War Ghost of Sparta, which is one half of the God of War Origins collection. I'm Eric Norris, alongside Joey Davidson here. Hello. And uh, we will catch you next time.